Mm, there you are. Here I am. You ready for a meeting with Coach Graves? I'm a little nervous, but yeah. He came in with a big smile today. Y I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay, but isn't he like a happy guy, though? Uh, yeah, true, but I think you're good. Okay, okay. That's good news. Thank you. Why don't you head up? He's ready for you. All right. Thanks, Olive. You're very welcome. MP! Have a seat. How you doing, Coach? What? I said, how you doing, Coach? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, how you doing, man? Oh, great. I'm great. What's going on, man? First time we met, you gave me a speech about Tribe being the greatest group of all time. This don't sound like Tribe. Well, I just don't want to be closed-minded and thought I'd try some new stuff out. All right. Expand my musical palette. How you digging that so far? I don't know yet. But, uh, look, obviously I didn't ask you here to talk about music, and, uh, not one for speeches, so I'll... I'll just say, uh, congrats. You're running with the starters next ah, time out! Stop playing with that! Let's go! Hey, you've done everything right and then some. But you can't let up, though, Nana, all right? Nana, that is not an issue at all, Coach. Oh, I can't wait to see my name on that board in the locker room, man! We're really excited for you, MP. You just keep doing what you're doing, and this is just the beginning. I got you, coach. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, there he is, MP. Oh, Jake, my man. Hey, you have been getting after it out there. Yeah, I've been trying. I'm, I'm trying. doing more than trying. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, uh, I wanted to tell you that you were 100% right. Mm -hmm. Staying in your lane and leading by being yourself, man, that, that right there gave the team a little bit of a jolt and uh, turned some fans' heads in a way. Yeah, you turned one fan's head, that's for sure. I'm beginning to think you are exactly what this team needs. Wow, that's, that right there is powerful, man. <laughs> yeah, man, don't mention it. Look, I got a, a jet, but I'll be seeing you around. All right, I'll be seeing you soon, man. All right. Welcome to the Jackson Dallas Show, baby. And today we have a special guest. The man, the myth, the fan, the actor, the legend, Jake Duvall. <laughs> thanks for taking time away from battling mutant squids to join us, Jay. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Jay. But uh, the squids were last movie. This time I'm saving Prague from shape-shifting beetles. At least that's what they seem like at first. Yeah, 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 same difference. <laughs> ah, not exactly. Now, let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to fire everybody right now, how mad are you with the fact that we just drafted MP when Shep was right there for the taking? I mean, Shep is built for this city. We all seen what happened to him in part. Look, is Shep more athletic? Yes. Yes. Is Shep a dynamic player? Absolutely. He is. Was Shep the guy we should have drafted? Of course. No. Say what now? <laughs> Listen. Shep is going to give you highlights, I won't deny that. But I got to tell you, Jackson, MP is the real deal. Every day, every play, this kid is locked in. He goes all out. To make up for his lack of athleticism. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but while he's compensating, he's also elevating. And I mean the entire team. They are better with MP on the court. And, uh, you know, seriously, you'd know that if you watch the games. Yo, don't we got a movie to talk about? Uh -huh. Ah, what are you upset because MP clapped back at you on social? Ah, uh, you didn't think he had it in him, did you, Jay? Come on, man, admit it. You got this kid pegged all wrong. I got him pegged exactly where he belongs, way behind Shep. And I got you pegged exactly where you belong, off the show! No offense, actually. You know, we just have a commercial break to go through, so. None take. I still love your movies, though. All right. We'll be back right after this. That's a big map you guys got in there. Um, what is this? Ah, this is the city. Oh, no, 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 I look like about to plan a heist or something. Exactly. What are y'all still in? The hearts and minds of the city. Yo! Okay, j sorry, do your speech. He has a whole thing planned. Oh, oh, whole... Here we go. <laughs> MP, there comes a time in every man's life where you must face an adversary that is so treacherous. You have to dig and cause on reserves of strength that were un otherwise unknown to you. That day is today. 
as you compete for the hearts and the minds of the people of this city. O of this city. <laughs> Wait, Gu guys, come <laughs> on, let's say it together. I'm Everyone, sorry, Ricky, Ricky, no. time I out, didn't man. Agree to any I'm of sorry, this. I thought I was supposed to be, you know, winning these people over and not destroying them in battles. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Look, yeah, about. Yes, 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 you're winning them over, but it is a battle. I mean, no. you, you don't have to crush them yet. No, but... you definitely don't want to crush them. Okay, fine, but you can't just wake up one morning and have an entire city love you. You've got a plot, you've got a scheme. No, don't say that out loud again. Okay, That's... well, you have to have a plan. We Gross. have a plan. Okay, yes, we've made some headway with the core fans of this group, and, and, and that's great, but we're just getting started, man. All right, all right, all right. I'm all ears. Yes. So what comes next? We want to help you make a difference in the community, but we need to do it strategically. So, okay. we broke the city up into four different districts. All right, now each district has its own unique personality and geographic boundaries. All right. You've got the fashion district, music district, business district, and of course the legendary Hammond Park. Now in each district, there's a key figure that you're gonna need to win over. We'll call this person a boss. Okay, it's like a video game then. I like a battle. Ricky, no, no battle. Okay, fine, look, you win over the bosses, the fans will follow. And you win over the bosses by helping their communities. Everybody wins. Okay, so who are these bosses then? Ashley, you're up. As some of you may know, I do have a background in fashion. Don't be modest. Ashley has a BFA from the City Fashion Institute. That's <clears throat> very prestigious. Okay, well, things did not work out in fashion for me, obviously, uh, but great. I was lucky enough to spend time with Callaway Shields, wow. the most well-respected professor at CFI and the backbone of the city's fashion community. It's pretty cool. Now, you're Sorry. gonna have to up your rep as a fashion guy. Yes. Uh, before he'll probably be willing to have a meeting with you, but once you do, Ashley can set it up. Wait, wait, wait what's wrong with my fashion rep right now? <laughs> I think so I dress Look, fairly there's nice. There's nothing wrong, bro. I mean, you're just... You're a basketball star. I mean, you got to do a lot to stand out. Exactly. You know, Devin Booker hoops at Moss Point, and he just got a pair of those super exclusive uh, mm. player-only Kobe's, Kobe's that everyone wants. Mm. Yeah. You could see if he could hook you up with something like that. Right, and then once it's you that easy. get a pair, make sure you show them off in fashion walks. Okay, yes. but just remember that this is Great all idea. about Callaway Shields. Actually, this this is where he's headquartered, right over here at, at, at uh, CFI. Uh, wh why? Why is this map so big? You specifically asked me to make this map ginormous. I did. Yeah. All right, Mila, you're up. Okay. As you know, the city has a thriving music scene. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen more shows here than I can even count. When you think of the music scene, who do you think of? Just off the top of your head. J. Cole. Thank you. Easy. Easy. Bingo. Excuse me. I thought this was my talking point. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. After you. My bad. There is no bigger tastemaker than J. Cole. All right. He does have a 93% likability rating among self described hip hop heads. Hey, best part? Dreamville Records is right there. I mean, this is an easy one, bro. You're a hooper, he's a hooper. Just mm -hmm. go over there and strike up a conversation. See what happens. I bet. That was my idea. That it was, Mila. Who let him have a stick? I don't know. Okay, and now as for the final two districts. Talk first up, the legendary Hammond Park. Ooh, that's the Mecca right there. Yeah, well, as of right now, it's a no-go. Yeah, they hate your guts. Can't stand you. Hardcore Shep territory. Okay, I, I, I get it. The guy's been hooping here for years, but I'm not gonna just lay down and die. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. But first, you gotta build some support before you just step into that hornet's nest, which is exactly why we want you to, you know, make some inroads in these other communities first. All right, all right, fair enough, man. Cool. Now, let's talk business district. Mm. So in that district, the uh, key figure is Bobby Miles, right? Mm -hmm. Better known as Uncle Bobby. Yeah, okay. the yes. most beloved figure in this entire city. He owns all the percolates. And half the other businesses. True. Yeah, he's got his hands on a little bit of everything. Seems. Yeah, I'm, dude does so much charity work too. I mean, people just love this guy. Yeah, but we need to start sure at the do. ground level here and prove to Uncle Bobby that you're the type of person who shares his passion for improving the community. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So what are y'all thinking? There is a hot dog vendor, Carl Beam, mm -hmm. and Uncle Bobby has given him a little bit of seed money to try and open a brick and mortar, but he needs a lot more to get over the finish line. Right now, he only has a cart. Well, so I'm just gonna be giving him money? No. For no. me, that sounds like I'm cheating just now. No, 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 that's not. I want you to help him run a promotion. Next okay. game day, if you hit a half court shot during shoot around, anyone who bought a hot dog that day can present their receipt to Carl next time they're at his cart and get a free hot dog. Ah. This type of publicity is worth so much more than any check. You and it shows that in. I care as well. Exactly. Which I like. I love hot dogs. We know. <laughs> it sounds like fun. I'm with it. Great. I set up a meeting with Carl so you can talk to him face to face and see how he thinks you can help get the word out. Let's do it. 
Now, I know that all of this might seem like a lot, but we'll be here to walk you through it. I mean, just follow our lead and you'll be fine. Yo, honestly, man, it, you guys put in a lot of work on this. And uh, I really feel blessed to have you guys in my corner. Okay, sentimentality plays very well in the fashion district, but it's seen as a sign of weakness in the business <laughs> district. So let's just, let's just be careful how you <laughs> deploy it. Yeah, I I'll keep that in mind, Ashley. That's gross. Thank you. Hey. Cook I here. Were you looking to talk? Now. To okay, I'm coming over right now. Sit. Uh, yes, ma'am, where would you like me to sit? Anywhere, let me know. Oh my gosh, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm watching my dogs. <laughs> There. You know, Ricky did mention that earlier. Uh, how old is she? <laughs> they, dogs, plural. Sorry. Basset hounds and Vinny and Bjorn, they're fighting again as per usual. And then that agitates Frida. So now she went and she stole Agnetha's squeaky because she's a chewer. She likes to chew. And now she's under the bed. But that's Ulf's spot. And so now Ulf's crammed cool, in there that, with Jonas. That, that sounds like a lot of dogs, but anything you got for me? Oh, yes. Uh, do you remember that little puff piece I was telling you about? I don't. It doesn't matter. So okay. I line something up. All with right. You. All it's right. John Luck. Okay, he is perfect for this. He is nice. He's easy. He's helpful. He's just like my little baby Dan. Yes, he is. Uh, and he's gonna make you look great. He's gonna do it today. Once, once I give him a call, once because obviously call, it is I feel only like, if you think I it's a good like idea. I feel like you gave him a call already. Yeah. Did you? Or did you not? I just thought I thought you think it was a good idea. It is a good idea. Obviously. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, do you always compare us to your dogs, or is this something new, n a new little hobby? Jonas is Ricky, and then Jenny's Mila. <laughs> okay. I'm Benny, and you're Bjorn, but you got a little bit of Frida in you. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, Frida so would. I would, <laughs> I would like to get some more information about this uh, meetup, and I will meet up with John. How's that sound? A true Bjorn. You should. Oh, so wait hard. Oh, so good. So good and so wait. Hey, MP, how are you? <laughs> My man, John. What's going on, man? <laughs> all right, all right. You chilling? Uh, duh, I'm chilling. I'm here doing all right. All huh? right. Hey, listen, you'll tell Ashley that I was here on time, right? Well, early. Right, actually? Yeah, bro, everything all right? Yeah, yeah. You scared me, man. No, no, everything's <laughs> fine, everything's fine. She just, she scares me a little, though. Ashley, <laughs> bro, she's a sweetheart, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I'm missing couples therapy because she said this was more important, so. Seriously? Yeah. Wait, hold on, you know we could just, like, reschedule. I can come no, back another no, time. No, no, Come you, on, Are you MP, sure? No, it's fine, MP. I, you know, there'll always be another therapy session, right? All right. Okay. Let's get started. So, you've had a little time now to get acclimated to your new team and your new city. How have you felt adapting to this new environment? Well, it's a big change, and I'm still figuring out my place here. Would you say that's because of you or external factors? Ooh, um, I say me. Yeah, 100%, I'd say me. You know, life is about adapting, John, as you may know as well. You know, the, the most successful people don't whine when things don't go their way. They simply figure out what they need to do to make things go their way. <laughs> you feel me on that one? Mm -hmm. And like, you can't control the outside factors, you know? You can only control how you deal with them. That's a good way of looking at it, but you know, any concern about how long it's taking you to adapt to your new city? Mm, nah. Nah, I mean, that, that stuff takes time, you, you know? Um, if you're expecting things to go your way the minute you get into a situation, you're gonna be disappointed, flat out, you know? I feel great about where I am right now, and I'm looking forward to proving my worth to the city, you know, as time goes on. Okay, so we've been tiptoeing around this a little bit, so let's get into it. Uh -oh. Obviously, there are some people who thought that the team made a mistake drafting you. I mean, you did hear booze on draft night. Yeah, I did. But you've also gotten some support from some pretty prominent voices. Mm -hmm. Jake Duvall, for one, has been very vocal yes. about his appreciation for you. What does an endorsement like that mean? Ah, oh, man. You know, John, I can't even lie, man. It, it, it means the world to me. You know, an endorsement from Jake Duvall. The Jake Duvall. <laughs> I mean, anytime anyone of that stature gives you a compliment, it means the world. 
he does have a lot of influence in this town. Exactly right, but it's it's so much more than that, you know? Like Jake knows the game, man. That cat has been watching a lot of ball, you know what I'm saying? And he can see what I'm bringing to the game, you know, as well as the team. Um, we, we're talking hard work, um, dedication, and, and a, a genuine desire to make this city and this team the best that it can be. <laughs> okay then, last question. Uh -oh. Now that you're finding your footing on this team and with the fans, mm -hmm. if you look ahead to the end of the season, where do you see yourself and this team? Ooh, um, okay, how about this? Mm -hmm. I can either give you the same boring answer that everyone else <laughs> gives you, <laughs> or I could talk to you about where I see myself in this city a year from now. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think uh, your readers might find that a little bit more interesting. Well, okay, sure, I can pivot. Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in this city? What's next for MP? Well, this, uh, this may not be my hometown, but this is my home now. <laughs> you see what I did there? Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just looking forward to having a positive impact on the lives of the people that live here. How so? Well, obviously delivering on that promise of uh, delivering a championship. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, that's everyone's goal. Uh, but I also plan on working off the court to improve and enhance the lives of everyone who lives in this city, basketball fan or not. You know what I'm saying? Because... Community is pretty big to me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I want to use my profile as well as my resources to help really make this community flourish. Well, thank you, MP. It's been great spending time with you. Likewise, man. Hey, now tell Ashley I said hello and uh, I'm sorry. For what, bro? <laughs> What's going on? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, check this out, John. Oh. Let's take this one day at a time, okay. all right? You'll get there, man. And uh, send the best to the missus, all right? Okay, we will do. Thanks, man. Brother. Okay. Well, there you are. Here I am. You ready for a meeting with Coach Graves? I'm a little nervous, but yeah. He came in with a big smile today. Yeah. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay, but isn't he like a happy guy, though? Uh, yeah, true, but I think you're good. Okay, okay. That's good news. Thank you. Why don't you head up? He's ready for you. All right. Thanks, Olive. You're very welcome. MP! Have a seat. How you doing, Coach? What? I said, how you doing, coach? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, how you doing, man? Oh, great. I'm great. What's going on, man? First time we met, you gave me a speech about Tribe being the greatest group of all time. This don't sound like Tribe. Well, I just don't want to be closed-minded and thought I'd try some new stuff out. All right. Expand my musical palette. How you digging that so far? I don't know yet. But, uh, look, obviously I didn't ask you here to talk about music, and, uh, not one for speeches, so I'll... <laughs> I'll just say, uh, congrats. You're running with the starters next ah, time out! Stop playing with that! <laughs> Let's go! Hey, you've done everything right and then some. But you can't let up, though, no, all no, right? No, no, that is not an issue at all, Coach. Oh, I can't wait to see my name up on that board in the locker room, man! We're really excited for you, MP. You just keep doing what you're doing, and this is just the beginning. I got you, coach. <laughs> Let's go! Big news, big, big news. Rookie standout MP will be making his first appearance in the starting lineup tonight, quicker than many... NBA insiders predicted, which begs the question, is this MP's I told you so moment? Stan, you've been hanging with JJ too long. <laughs> Rookie standout? Are you okay? All right, well, I'm guessing that you would not be calling this his I told you so moment then. I told you what? That's my president <laughs> of basketball operation is forcing me into the starting lineup so he doesn't look bad. Oh, wow. come on, Kendrick. That's not fair. Why not? Why not? We already know the hash and the little PR scheme to make MP and the front office look good. This could just be part of that. <laughs> that that's a completely separate issue. I know their top assistant, Wayne Graves, really, really well from my time at Duke. He knows and believe me, Duke. he'd never join a staff where the front office dictates who starts. That's not how things are done over there, point blank. And I know. I'm plugged in. Well, then are you ready to say right here, right now, this is his I told you so moment? Mm. I, I wouldn't go that far. Until MP proves he's better than Shep, 
Mm. He's not in a position to say, I told you so to anyone. That's what this drama is all about in the first place. Even J.J., even J.J. agrees with me. <laughs> MP hasn't proven anything. I, I, I didn't say that, Perk. I didn't say that. MP deserves to start. All I'm saying is he's got a long way to go before he makes fans in the city forget about Shep, who's had an excellent start to his career, too. Yes. Until he puts Shep in the rearview mirror, these comparisons will continue to haunt him. J.J., guess what? I'm actually proud of you. You got most of that right. Most of that. I have my moments. <laughs> and MP, I would love for you to prove me wrong, brother. Believe me, I got love for everyone in the association. That's definitely that's not, not true. true. Not true. But the lights are only going to get bigger and brighter from here. Can you handle it? I've got some big time doubts. Carry on. All right, guys, I'll make this quick. Right. Now, yeah. as we all know, this is our beloved rookie MP's first game in the starting lineup. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. You guys are one step ahead of me today. What's new, coach? <laughs> okay. okay, okay, MP, it's all you, kid. Rally the troops. <laughs> Not really setting me up for success there, Coach G, <laughs> but it's all good. Y'all already know what it is. Now just remember, you may have 100 games your career, 1,000 if you're lucky, but only won't be my first start, so don't mess this up out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yo, I'm messing with y'all. That's why I rock with y'all, for real. Y'all always keep me honest. Uh, is this speech going to end anytime soon, Rook? We got to shoot around. I got you, coach. Let's bring it in. <laughs> yeah. Win on three. One, two, three, win. win. This season is still only just getting underway, but as a player, RJ, how valuable is it to get things started the right way? It is so valuable, because as coaches say, plays that often start bad, end bad, and it's the same thing with seasons. If seasons start bad, there's a higher probability of them ending bad, so you want to get off to a good start. You want to show up ready to go. Now here's Brooks. Down low, the kick out to ball. Shot clock at five. A shot by Hayward, wide open, and the three off target. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. And this is the first time matched up with the Hornets this season. And looking back to last season, they won this season series, as you'd expect. In their eyes, that's just taking care of business. They believe they're supposed to beat this team, but they'll have to see how the season series shakes out. Now, Ball. Following the miss by Lonzo Ball from deep. Ball, the pass to Richards, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. And while we... Porter, David Aldridge. David? Well, Kevin, I got a chance to talk to Steve Clifford a little bit. This is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys to attack offensively. He feels their success on that end will dictate their success through the game. So, guys, we can expect them to be aggressive from early on. Appreciate that, David. Interesting report there, uh, GA. The team focused on what it can do offensively. Bottom line, in this league, you have to score points. Sounds like they have a plan. Yeah, well, you better not ignore the other side of the ball. It doesn't matter how many points you score if you get absolutely no stops on defense. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock.
And so just over a minute and a half played. And Ball gets double teamed. Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. The 15-footer. The shot's good. Smart hoop by Levine. With how many teams defend him, he'll get his shot all day. Outside, Ball. Here's Brooks. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. Ball finds DeRozan. Over Hayward. And it's DeRozan missing. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Brooks the pass to Ball. Ball of a pick from Brooks. And it's Ball penetrating. Lays it up and banks it in. He's really a smart offensive player. You have to respect Ball's strong sense for when to take that jumper. Now here's Levine. Passes it to Vucevic. That three off the mark. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet, only managing to sink one of their first five shots. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Now here's DeRozan. Following the miss by LaMelo Ball. DeRozan passes to Williams. There's Ball with the three. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. Now here's Brooks. In the game against Sacramento, very impressive. DeRozan with it. Now defended by Hayward. Pass to Vucevic. The Bulls with another miss. Charlotte in the lead. Here is Brooks. At the elbow, Jones shoots over ball. And that one hits back iron. Well, iron, that's what you get when you go for style points with a fadeaway. And look, he paid the price. Back to Levine. To end the drought. And the layup is good. Levine's got his second basket of the game. Just muscling through the contact. Levine is a flat-out star. To the middle. Stolen by Levine. Outside, ball. DeRozan a screen on Brooks. From downtown, DeRozan's shot is off. Hornets have gone 2 of 6 from the field. Now Brooks. The pass to Richards. Back to Brooks. Just four to shoot. Fades away. Richards no good. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Ball. Double D has. Charlotte's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Ball from long range. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Stolen by Brooks. Ball with it, now guarded by DeRozan. Ball kicks to Brooks. There's the pick. Pass to Richards, and the shot goes in. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look.
and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Now here's Levine. Turned in an outstanding game against Brooklyn. Spins. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Levine's got six points. Not just a shooter. Levine is also willing to bury himself inside and go to work. Now here's Ball. Boy, that went against the Kings. He's another guy who really showed up to play. Hayward can hit. Chicago leading. Outside, Ball. Pass to Vucevic. Over Hayward. And the Bulls tack on two more. How about the vision there by Ball? Showing the unselfishness, just being a willing passer. Charlotte shooting a lowly 30% to start this game out. Ball against Ball. From 12 feet out. Misses off the right iron. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kelly, very disruptive. He has... Known as a mid... Turn this around, kid. Hornets trail by 18. DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. Ball and Levine are the guard set. And it's Vucevic in at the five, patrolling the paint. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And it's Williams with the ball for the Bulls. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. DeRozan's gone. One for five from the field. 20%. Brooks, the pass to ball. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Pass to Oubre. It's stolen by DeRozan. And at the top of the key, Williams. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Charlotte making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. And here are the Bulls now. It's an 18-point lead. Here's DeRozan. And... That's for sure. DeMar DeRozan, look, he dominated in his first season in Chicago, all-NBA team. And look, the Bulls had gone through some really lean years. This was a great move by the front office. Now, here's Ball. He kicks to Brooks. Crafty move. Rips it home after the terrific move. You know, Greg, you can tell MP is a leader out on the floor, setting a very high bar, certainly, and in terms of effort. And he's showing, not telling, this guy's what he wants from them. I think players respect that kind of an attitude, and they know he's right there with them in the trenches. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Following the bucket by the Hornets. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Jones finds ball. The pass to Richards. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Levine deciding where to go with it. DeRozan with a screen for Levine. Pass to DeRozan. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Williams a screen. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. It's good from long range. Vucevic has got his second bucket tonight. Earlier in his career, Vucevic didn't take any threes. Now they've become one of his staples in terms of his offensive game. Now here's Brooks. DeRozan with the rebound. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. 
ball dishes to Levine. Outside to Rosen. The high post shot doesn't go that time. And the Hornets now going the other way. And let's be honest, they're winning in spite of his atrocious shooting performance. Brooks, the pass to Richards. Back to Brooks. To the inside. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Stolen by Levine. Williams against Jones. Levine wide open. A three-pointer no good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And Charlotte turns it over again. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Williams, a screen on ball. And the call will be against LaMelo Ball. This game is always changing, and, and there are fads. There are it's cyclical, RJ, in so many ways. Here we have the last four MVP winners, all 6'11 or taller, when a lot of people think it's a game of 6'6", six, 6'7 six, six, guys. Yes, that's true, and I'm glad that it's starting to come back. You know why? Because I had to go against Shaq and Tim Duncan and David Robinson my first two times in the finals, and everyone's like, you're 0-2. It's like I had to go against those Giants. I'm glad to see that Giants are back and dominating the game. Yeah, clearly the big men are not extinct. Nope. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Ball kicks to Levine. Hayward against DeRozan over Jones. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. DeRozan's got seven. Quality play recognition by DeRozan. Scans the defense. Hits off the pick. Brooks finds ball. Inside. Brooks the pass to Richards. Lock at six. Outside, ball. Shoots over ball. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Brooks. Now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The reviews have been good for the league's moves to eliminate foul calls on non-basketball moves. The NBA said it wanted the game to be played, not manipulated. Raymond Green says... It helps to know that you'll have more of a fair opportunity as a defender. Guys can't just cheat the system. Kevin, back to you. That's great to see, David. Thank you. Jones with the screen on DeRozan. At the teardrop, and it's Jones laying it in. Jones has got his first two points of the night. And really exemplifies who Hayward is. A team player, someone who enjoys spotting his open teammate. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. He's been off. Still, they're up. So not all is lost. Outside, ball. And it's Brooks at the elbow. Back to ball. Jones sets the pick for ball. His three-pointer is off the mark. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Passes to Vucevic. Ball feeling it out a bit. Ball with the rebound. Hornets trail by 20. On the wing, Brooks. Stolen by Levine. Steps back and trains the jump shot. Levine's got eight points. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Brooks against Levine. Brooks left side. Richards. It's hauled in by the bowl. Vucevic has got nine rebounds now tonight. Outside ball. Takes a three. And Jones pulls it down. 
Jones has got four rebounds now tonight. Brooks the pass to Richards. It will not find the hoop. It's his third miss. He has made two. DeRozan against Hayward. Williams has a screen for DeRozan. The kick out to Ball. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Charlotte has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Brooks finds Ball. Ball against Brooks. Here's the screen to the middle. And that one's good. Richards. Richards got four points this quarter. So Chicago. And so it's Chicago. Rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. Happy to have you with us. Let's bring you up to speed on the winners of the Player of the Month Awards. Fellas, was it ever a goal of yours when you were playing to win Player of the Month? I mean, honey, for me, not really. I was always focused on making our team better so that we really just can compete for the ultimate prize, a title. Kenny, you're talking like he's the leader of the team over here. You ain't fooling nobody, Kenny. I want a few myself, honey. Yes, Shaq, you've, uh, you've told me more times than I can count. And circling back to this first half, fellas, a decisive advantage for the Chicago Bulls. The bench, a big reason they've got a sizable advantage. When you have guys coming in scoring points, it keeps your energy up. Sorry, guys, I can't add much. I never came off the bench. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. We've got Ball. Hayward out there with Jones. Then it's Brooks. And it's Richards in its center. Now here's Brooks following the miss by DeRozan. Ball with it to the paint. Stolen by Levine. Pulls up. High post. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Levine. DeRozan's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Bulls. Brooks outside. The kick out to Ball. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And it's slammed in by Jones. And there's one aspect of the game LaMelo's not going to ignore. Keeping his teammates involved and the offense working as a unit. Now here's Ball. Vucevic a screen on Ball. Ball against Ball. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. It's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. Now, here's Ball. Shoots the three. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Levine for three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And here is Brooks. To the inside, he swipes the ball away again. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. And Greg, when you bring up MP, he is such a tremendous leader. My goodness. Of course, in that locker room, uh, empowering his teammates in every way. And that's the reputation MP came into the league with. He's a guy who lifts up others. Stand-up guy, for sure. Charlotte, no good that time either. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Rosen dishes to Levine. Levine, a screen on ball. I got yours, I got yours. Brooks against Levine. And a miss there on the triple. And they have started out this quarter shooting just 20%. Let's just say this is not the way they wanted to open the second half. Brooks kicks to Jones. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws. That's a foul? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something with the Knicks that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensively. Five on the clock. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Dishes it to Levine. Launches a three. Hornets with the rebound. Richards got his eighth rebound here tonight. It's Brooks on the wing. Jones sets the pick for Brooks. The feed to Jones. Back to Brooks. Charlotte moving the ball around. Yep, that one goes in there. Jones has got five points now this quarter. That's just smart basketball right there. Finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. Here's DeRozan, and the Bulls with another miss. High arcing shot. Two free throws coming up, and they... And he makes the first. Both free throws good for Brooks. Well, it's something that only a handful of players have to deal with. Getting booed on draft night. Never a great feeling, but it can act as a motivator. And hopefully, Greg, that's how MP has used it, as motivation. Fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. And Levine's combination of athleticism and shooting makes him dangerous. A multifaceted player with a strong work ethic. It's stolen by DeRozan. his foot and the official saying it was kicked Williams looking over the floor and again Chicago no good for Charlotte they've gone three of five to start the second half developing a nice rhythm out there stolen by Levine here's ball that shot is off. And the Hornets now going the other way. It's stolen by DeRozan. Going 
Vucevic a screen on Hayward. DeRozan passes to Williams. Five to shoot. Levine inside the three-point line. Here's Vucevic. And Jones sends it back. And he recovers it. Vucevic with the bucket. And the Hornets call time here. Difficult situation for Sharp. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Down low, here's Richards. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Ball against ball. Pass to Williams. Vucevic setting the pick for Williams. And contact on the shot. Nobody doubted Patrick Williams and his upside. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. The Hornets also with a sub. Oubre's checked in. Now here's Brooks. Eight points for him. Ball, the pass to Brooks. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. And it didn't take long for Williams to live up to his potential. No, and that's where basketball can be so funny sometimes. He started every game his rookie season after not starting at all at Florida State. Let's just say his game might be more tailored for the lead. And another miss by Chicago. For Charlotte, they've gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Ball against ball. Brooks dishes to Jones, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Brooks has got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now here's DeRozan. He's got nine. You know, Greg, some guys are... Handles it. Hornets trail by 21. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. And it's Caruso in at the five. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Brooks outside. Four on the clock. The pass to Richards. The nine-foot shot. Jones kicks to Brooks. Good T by Williams. The Bulls leading by 21. Here's DeRozan. Pass to Caruso. Outside Levine. Back to Caruso. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That'll be his... Hornets trail by 21. Ball surveying the defense. Jones with the screen on Caruso. Here's Ball. Rebound collected by Levine. Levine's got four rebounds now tonight. Jones against Caruso. Back to Levine. To the inside. And it's Williams finishing it off. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the D, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. Ball, the pass to Richards. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. The ball is checked in for Alex Caruso. Oh. 
We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Vujovic finds DeRozan. Ball against ball. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Vucevic a screen on Hayward. Here's DeRozan. Buried from 15 feet out. Living in this area on the floor, DeRozan loves that mid-range game, and honestly, for good reason. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The drive-by ball. Out to Brooks. Hayward on the wing. Six to shoot. The shot comes out. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Bulls. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Now ball. Outside Levine. The three. And Jones pulls it down. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Here's Brooks. And... First one falls for him. You spent two seasons, Richard, with LeBron James in Cleveland. What was it like to play with LeBron? Well, I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time. That's the way I viewed it, but it was amazing. I should have reworded that. I'm sorry. Thank, My mistake. Thank, thank you. I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint, and he always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know, for pundits, they complain about it, but for a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that tries to play the right way night in and night out. His understanding of the game must be off the charts, correct? It, it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. Good on the shot. And 12 points for Brooks. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half, getting to his spots, executing with ease. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. Hornets trail by 21. We know, Greg, the league trending towards small ball, but some teams are having success playing two bigs up front. And I think the key is having versatile big men. If they can space the floor and play in space, also be able to cover smaller players, why not get the added rebounding and rim protection? His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Outside, ball. Passes it to DeRozan. Vucevic is screen on Hayward. DeRozan. That doesn't go either for DeRozan. Hornets have gone 3 of 7 from the 4 in the 4th. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Pass the ball. Nice move. Out to Hayward. Brooks with no one around. No good on the three. The Bulls leading by 19 points. Now the pass to Williams. Outside, ball. Back to Williams. Ball against ball. Beyond the arc. And again, Chicago. No good. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. And... Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Greg, last offseason, the Hornets decided to part ways with their coach of the past four years. Always a tough decision, and, and this is a critical time for Charlotte. They've got a tremendous young core. They think their time is now, and they want to make a bold move with the new hire. Brooks outside. Back to ball. 
Brooks outside. Ball kicks to Hayward. Jones sets the pick for Hayward. The kick out to Ball. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got his 16th rebound on the night. And there's the foul. It's on cue. That's his... Ball against ball. Number three, Levine. And he really seems to just have lost his touch at halftime. Hornets trail by 17. Pass to Richards. Stolen by ball. The dish to Levine. Outside, ball. Outside, Levine. Shot clock at six. Vucevic is screen on Jones. Again, Levine missing. Oh, man, for whatever reason, he can't get it going from three, and he's pretty good from there. Brooks, the pass to Hayward. From 12 feet out, Vucevic with the rebound. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Out through the mouth and let the game come to you. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency. Solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double-digit rebounds for the last five years. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the... That's not a foul. Are you kidding me? Excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, and he is just a rock in the middle. And both free throws good for Brooks. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Ball dishes to DeRozan. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. It's an 18-point game. Lucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. And again, no good by Chicago. Charlotte shooting a meager 37% for the game. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. Yeah. Foul of the game. Richards passes to Brooks. Some energetic defense by Levine using his speed to stay all over the shooter. Now, here's Ball. DeRozan, a screen on Ball. Outside DeRozan. Six on the shot clock. Over Hayward. That doesn't go either for DeRozan. Hornets trail by 18. Ball finds Brooks. And here's Jones. Brooks, the pass to Jones. Over Levine. Hayward outside. Passes it to Richards. Another shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot. Years ago, I would not expect this Bulls team to be in this position right now. They mm. weren't dominating, but look at what they're doing now. It's a whole new era. Ball kicks to DeRozan. Looking to end his cold spell. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his fifth assist in this one. 
Hayward against DeRozan. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Bulls leading by 17. Levine dishes to DeRozan. Kicks it to Vucevic. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. DeRozan surveying the D over Hayward. DeRozan's shot is off. The Chicago team, Richard, has managed to turn things around after a string of four losing seasons. And that's why you never count a team out. A few smart trades, some good draft pickups, that's all it takes for you to ascend the rankings and become a top team in this league. And the right coach. Clearly, Billy was the right coach for this team. Oh, yeah, and that too. He definitely a good coach. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Bulls. A few times this season, turnovers have cost him, but they really kept the ball under control. They were both focused and relentless. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And a lot of players tonight helped contribute to this performance. But in particular, a real good game it was for Zach Levine. And I love his tenacity at the defensive end on the floor. Very disruptive all game long. Nice contest, a high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Nice feed inside, saw the play develop and hit him right when he needed to. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The lead is 15. Ball against ball. Levine for three. No good, shot missing. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Brooks outside. Pass to Richards. Brooks outside. And the pass to Richards. And they force the shot clock violation. Great deal. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester, and that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you later. They put your boy MP in the starting lineup. They down bad, huh? Real bad. Dude's fish food against starters. Barbecue chicken. Two-piece, no season of overcooked. <laughs> no sauce, no napkins. It's dumb, Pook. What, it's not my fault you can't riff? <laughs> I can riff, but it takes a great artist to know how to edit. Oh, so you a great artist now. <laughs> they call me Shep Caso. No, they don't. If I said they call me Shep Caso, they call me Shep Caso. Okay. Thank you. Hello, who's got questions for me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's start my man Nate Dog right here. Congratulations on your first start. You look very comfortable out there from the tip. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how did it feel? First start, man. Uh, wow. Uh, thanks, Nate, for, for starts. Um, it was different for sure. Uh, the pace of the game is very, very fast and, and quick. And, uh, you know, you're facing the other team's best defense, which is set up for you, you know? So it was definitely an adjustment. But, you know, I was hoping I did well. Well, <laughs> well, you did. But uh, did you get more comfortable as the game went on? Yeah, 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 I definitely did. And I credit my teammates for helping me get adjusted, man. It, they held me down for sure. Um, you know, they were looking for me on rolls and backdoor cuts and, you know, trying to get me going with the, you know, the easy buckets and 
you know, that helps. Can you share with us the biggest difference between college and the NBA? Probably the speed of the game. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, you know, openings to pass or to shoot are much smaller and they close quickly. You know, <laughs> defenders are bigger and faster too. So, you know, getting past them is a lot more difficult. <laughs> well, for you, it didn't seem like you had much trouble getting past your defender. <laughs> Come on, Nate, man. Nah, I mean, I appreciate it, man. Um, I had some good screens and our spacing was super solid. You know, the one thing about the NBA, there's a lot more room in the paint. Surprisingly, so, you know, like getting to the hole and finishing is a lot more easier than college. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys have a good night. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>